So are those expensive discus fish or ornamental fish that you just bought a few weeks ago looking a little bit thin no matter how much you feed them, no matter how much they eat, they're failing to thrive? Let's talk about that today. You may have a problem in your tank that you don't even know about. When we come back, we're going to discuss that. Hang in there with me. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, George here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about medications for internal parasites such as worms or any other kind of internal parasite, hexamenia. Uh, there's all kinds of different things that ornamental fish can have when you get them and these fish are typically not cheap. So we want to make sure that when we're getting these fish and we put them in our quarantine tank, that we are properly treating them. So today we're gonna to be talking about specifically metronidazole. That is my go-to uh, medication for these kinds of problems. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit today. So hang in there with me and we'll be right back. So since we're treating a very specific uh, problem here, and that is either worms or internal parasites of some kind, uh, metronidazole uh, is used primarily for this specific kind of problem and uh, it's called flagellins and uh, that can mean a couple of different things but we won't get into all of that right now we're talking about the medication itself so what like I said I like to keep uh, a bag of this on hand instead of buying it in a store uh, in a uh, a medication that contains metronidazole and the reason for that is is because it can be so much more expensive if you don't buy it in bulk now I get it in 50 gram packs so that if you want to deworm your tank you always have some of this on hand and like I said we're treating something uh, very very specific here so it's really important for us to understand that we don't need all of the other things that may be in uh, the Metroplex or any of these other medications that are on the market. So the first thing we want to do is we want to have our scale here on and we want to have it set on grams. And at that point there we are going to zero it out and make sure it's at zero and we're going to set our little container that we're going to be using uh, to mix uh, the metronidazole in and we're going to allow for that to read 11 grams which is what that little container weighs and we're going to zero it out again. Now it's important that you zero it out again because if you don't you're going to be way off on what you're giving your fish. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second because the next step here is to take your metronidazole and what uh, I have figured out is that if you want to reference say a 75 gallon tank it's important to understand that uh, by the time you get your hardscape in there and everything else it's probably not 75 gallons you're probably around 68 or somewhere in there uh, that's at least how my tank would be estimated at based on the way I have scaped it so what we want to do we know that uh, three grams is one level teaspoon and we want to be careful not to do more than that but I need 3.2 grams so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that in there and see what it weighs now sometimes your scale will vacillate between um, three and four and I'm gonna wait a minute for let the scale sort of settle itself out. Now it's weighing three grams exactly. Now the question is, do I have 3.5, 3.2? It went up to 3.4, so I know that there's a little bit more than three grams in here. So I'm trying to get to 3.2 to 3.5, and the only way you're gonna really do that is guesstimate. So what I'm going to do is, I'm because it's jumping between 3 and 4, I am going to take just a little bit of the medication out and put it back in the packet and see if the scale settles out at that 3. 
and I all know that we're probably somewhere around 3.2 to 3.5 grams and I'll know at that point that I am going to have the correct amount and yes the scale has settled out and my guess is that if I take any more out we're going to drop below that three and it's going to jump between two and three and that's not what we want so at this point here uh, what I do is I take the container and I'm ready for the next day. Now I want to talk about preparing this stuff ahead of time because it's very important to do that. Now with metronidazole you are going to treat for approximately 10 days and you are going to treat the same amount every day. Metronidazole only lasts in your water for approximately 8 hours. Once that eight hours is over, there is no metronidazole in your tank any longer that is being effective towards any of these diseases. So what I suggest you do if you're a person that works or if you want to get on a schedule with this stuff is to make sure that you are taking your medication and preparing it the night before. And so when you go to work in the morning or if you are... Um, just someone who works at home or whatever and you want to get on a schedule with this put this in first thing in the morning in your tank take a picture like this here take some water from your aquarium just about maybe this much here and mix it up really well in there and uh, give it a few minutes to dissolve before you pour it into your tank now you can pour it in there with some of the crystals not dissolved it doesn't matter because it's going to dissolve overnight anyway so at this point here you have mixed it up in here and you're going to pour it directly into your aquarium now when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about why we do this for eight hours why it only lasts that long and why 10 days so when we come back we'll talk about that be right back so in closing on this video here, what I wanted to talk about is go over some of the very specific things that we talked about. It's very important, uh, as I said, to make sure that you are treating your fish for 10 days and it's important that you uh, get the right amount of grams uh, that you're mixing up and prepare it maybe the night before or whatever, especially if you have a busy schedule and you're someone who is... Uh, uh, feeding your fish in the morning, you can literally uh, just take a little bit of water out of the tank, put it in that little cup that we have our medication in, stir it in, pour it into your tank. By the time you get home, if you need to do a water change, like I said, metronidazole is only good for eight hours. After eight hours, it's not in your tank any longer. So the important thing to do is to if you're going to do that water change, make sure it's been eight hours by the time you get home. And if you need to do a water change, you can do it then. The best way to use metronidazole is not the way that I'm doing it, but it is the most common way because sometimes your fish are not eating because of these problems. If you have the luxury of your fish eating, the best way to do this is to mix the metronidazole into the food. And that is something that is a whole other calculation. Um, you take uh, basically the amount of food that you're going to have uh, on hand and put a small amount of metronidazole in there because you want to treat all of the fish in your tank. You want every fish to get it. If one fish has this problem, it's likely that your whole tank has it. Now, if you have a UV light on your canister filter or in your aquarium somewhere, uh, that can help immensely with getting rid of these parasites or worms or anything that's in there. And so that is sort of a game changer. So once you've treated your tank, your whole tank, or specifically your fish, however you're going to do it, either by putting the metronidazole in the water or by putting it in their food, once you've done that, as long as you haven't added anything new to that tank, you should be doing fine. But again, Make sure that you do the full 10 days, figure out how much you're going to need in grams for your tank. Like I said, it's one gram per 20 gallons. So your best calculation is to just, you know, come as close to that as you possibly can and treat the fish accordingly. This is a very effective medication. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link down below as to where you can get this and uh, you can, 
go to that site. Um, it is Jack Watley and Gabe Posada down there who's been very, very good to me. Uh, is uh, the gentleman that you want to talk to and also you can just go on their site and order metronidazole based on however size package you need. Now again if you're a Canadian resident you cannot get this stuff because they will not sell this across the borders. This is only good for the United States and uh, he has a video on his site which I will put down below in the uh, description area so that you can go and watch that video. It's a little bit more in depth than what I'm telling you, but it's important that uh, if you are going to order this from Gabe at uh, Jack Watley, that you know how much you're going to need because the last thing you want is to try to treat for 10 days and come up short with the medication and then have to wait a few more days for that medication to get to you. So overbuy a little bit so that you've got it on hand if you have another problem and make sure if you're getting new fish in, do this in your quarantine tank. If you have to do it in your larger tank and you've got a problem and it just popped up for whatever reason, maybe you're feeding blood worms. Blood worms are a common problem for uh, parasites. Uh, you can feed them to them all day, but as long as you're deworming them every three months or so, you probably won't have a problem. My suggestion is to get them on a very diet. Stay away from the blood worms. If you want to feed them black worms occasionally, the problems are not there with those. It's typically the blood worms where we have the problem. But anyways, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Leave your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and share with your friends. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for joining me. I hope this was an informative video for you. And uh, hopefully anybody who's dealing with this problem got enough information here to help you solve the problem don't get stressed out just take care of the problem and like i said the metronidis all by itself will do that thank you for joining me we will see you on the next one until then we are out of here